Well, on an on a, uh, autumn morning here in Mount Gambier this morning, the market's very strong again. Um, the cattle were probably not as good a quality this week, um, but still selling very, very strongly. A great competition from all the exporters and the feed lotters. Starting on a pen of bullocks here, we sold this morning a count to LG McKinnon and Sons from down at um, Mum from um, Strathdowney, Victoria. Uh, these uh, bullocks this morning, they've made $2.28 a kilo. Magnificent short on Hereford cross bullocks and uh, well into the high sevens, high 700 kilos, but great quality for this time of the year. Moving on to some um, some Hereford, young Hereford steers, two teeth from the Spencer family. Uh, they've sold well into the 220s, great quality. And um, yeah, uh, credit to the vendor. Next, uh, next three pens of uh, bullocks are, are Roy and Joy Wilson's uh, steers from Mum Banner, and they bred these cattle, Hereford cattle. They got they got very good genetics. They're only young steers, only 20 months old, and uh, yeah, they've sold particularly well. Uh, all these steers are making sort of from you know 225 to 228 a kilo, and uh, but great competition on them, especially this next pen. Just have a look over the. Uh, have a look over the backs of these steers for, you know, I don't think I've stood over too many better pens of Hereford steers than those. Look across the back, they're well covered um, and they've been on running on uh, Lake Country, so the yield's there. The meat company's going to get good yield out of those steers. Uh, young bullocks there and, uh, you know, they're going to be, um, they're going to weigh 600 kilos and they're going to be 228, so it's not a bad sort of result for, um, for you know, for 20 months old. These are the younger steers out of the run. Um, these are more into the mid 500s, but you know they still made 220 odd a kilo. Uh, Roy and Joy Wilson, so uh, yep, great quality. These Angus bullocks here are four teeth, the Corinda Downs bullocks. Um, yeah, great quality again out, out of Victoria on the Lake Country. Um, they they, they realised over 220 a kilo, but as you can see, they're still pretty good. Rest of our runner steers today. They've all made, you know, the store cattle making a dollar eighty for the plain condition store cattle, right, right through to sort of two twenty for these sort of steers. So, um, you know, even Frisian bullocks, you know, fairly story conditioned Frisian bullocks making a dollar fifty five or sixty for restockers, and the ones that are killable making a dollar eighty eighty five. So that's the bullocks for this morning, um, and uh, to our top vendors, well done, and I'll report later on the veals, veilers. Hi everyone, uh, just back at the market for this Wednesday. We're we'll just taking a bit of a run through our uh, young cattle run. Uh, we started on some Simangus cross uh, heifers here today of the Poika family. Uh, they always have a, uh, the Simangus cross cattle. They do a magnificent job out of them out there at Mingbu. Uh, these cattle here will go to the feedlot uh, in Charlton and they made around that two, uh, 2 15 a kilo. Through here we have um, we have uh, Paddy Harold and Amanda Bennett's uh, heifers. Uh, we purchased these heifers here as uh, off mum sort of about eight months ago. They've grown them out down at Tantanula and those heifers there also go to the feedlot at about 2 20, uh, 2 15 a kilo. Uh, the Badenoff family heifers here as well. Also more of the feedlot types, uh, they're chasing them pretty heavy at the moment. So that's uh, where they'll end up at the feedlot this time here. These will go to Meningi with TFI. Same sort of money, that 2 two fifteen or thereabouts. Uh, more of Pat and Amanda's cattle here, uh, just a second draft of the heifers. And they also end up at the feedlot as well. We had a pretty good run through here. We like to try and line up our feedlot cattle as much as we can in a line so that we can get the uh, competition coming through. Uh, here we have some of the Johnson steers out of Strathdowney. Um, they have them week in, week out, the Johnson family. They do a magnificent job out there at Strathdowney. And uh, I think these steers here made about that 215 as well. More of the Johnson family steer calves, just the second run of them. Here's a couple of pens of our first viewers. Um, steer calves here at 218. Heifer calves at... Uh, Heifer calves here at 220. Pretty good quality, uh, very well grown out. Also plenty of frame there as well. Start to get down into our uh, lighter cattle, 
some good no mark heifers in here of uh, Roger Jones's there. They they brought about 220 a kilo back down to a sort of a, the Hereford here, a bit more weight through the Hereford heifer here. She's at $1.85. Some of the Kane family uh, no marker steers in here. Uh, pretty handy steers there, made 220. The uh, painted cattle in there, Pat and, Amanda, Pat and um, Amanda's, and they're about that 210. Just a few little milk calves through here. Uh, the little limo cross calves here at 210 a kilo. A couple of good uh, black heifers over the other side there at, uh, at 225 a kilo. And one of the, the, just a single steer there at 210. Just coming down into a few of our secondary cattle. We're starting to see a few secondary cattle at the moment because the season's starting to go. So just a few of our secondary cattle will give you a bit of an idea. These are heifers, uh, limo cross heifers uh, at $1.65. Uh, we're starting to see as we uh, wean a few few cattle off and that sort of thing, we're starting to see a few stags and everything come through. Most of our stags and, and off, off sort of type cattle are making $1.65 to $75. So that's uh, my rundown for the week. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you need anything, just give us a call. I'll talk to you soon. Ta.